Hello STEM engineers. The other day I was reading the story Bruce's Big Storm. If you haven't read that book, it's about a windy, rainy day that is coming, so all of Bruce's neighbors want to join him in his cozy house. Now, if you've heard Bruce books, do you think Bruce likes this idea? I don't think so. Then the neighbors realize that a bunny was left outside, so one of the mice, Nibs, goes to get him. However, Nibs is holding Bruce's umbrella, and it's really windy, so he gets blown away in the wind. And Bruce has to come rescue him, mostly because he wants his favorite umbrella back. But then all three of them get blown away by the wind, and the neighbors all have to pitch in and help Bruce, Nibs, and the bunny get back into the house. Now, I know Bruce would prefer not to have the others help him out, so today we're going to address that problem and create a way for Bruce to safely get around during the storm by designing a zip line to get Bruce from his house to an area in his yard. That way he can stay attached and move safely from one spot to another to rescue Nibs and the bunny and not get carried away by the wind. Now for today's lesson, you're going to need some string for your zip line and then design a vehicle for Bruce using paper or recycling or plastic. Think about how to attach your vehicle to the zip line in a way that's going to reduce how much friction is created. The more friction you have, the slower the ride is going to be and Bruce might not be able to get all the way down the zip line. Now in class we've used things such as carabiners, paper clips, straws, even a folded sheet of paper to help reduce the friction when you're attaching the vehicle to the zip line. If you have a recycling bin, peek in there, see what might inspire you as well. And then you'll also want to consider the angle of your zip line. If it's really steep, you're going to have more speed, but if it's too steep, the friends might crash on their rescue mission. What is going to be the perfect angle for a smooth ride that doesn't end in a crash? So experiment and try and figure that out as well. Now, if Bruce is too heavy or too light, your vehicle might not move at all. And if this happens, it's okay to add weight to the vehicle so that it can travel, or it's also okay to take weight away, um, maybe redesign a different vehicle to make it lighter so that a successful mission will end with Bruce reaching the bunny and the, um, the rabbit to rescue them. Now for today's activity, you may need string, yarn, or rope, the smoother the better, some recycling, scissors, tape or stapler, a small stuffy toy or your Bruce cutout, some small weights like pebbles, marbles, or magnets, and all of your problem-solving skills, imagination, and creativity. First, you'll want to create your zip line. Get a piece of string and find two points to tie your zip line to, one higher than the other. The bigger the height difference, the faster the ride, and rope with less friction will work best. Next, get Bruce and some friends he needs to rescue. It's okay if they're not a bear, a bunny, and a mouse. Mine happens to be a bear, a bunny, and a unicorn. Just bring what you have. Find or build a vehicle for the zip line and then test it. The basic challenge, find a way to help Bruce rescue his friends without getting blown away. Install a zip line and create a way to keep Bruce, your stuffy or toy, connected to the zip line while he rescues the bunny and mouse. Bonus challenge, how can you change the trolley, the part that attaches to the zip line, to reduce friction? And does changing the weight in the vehicle affect how far or how fast it will travel? And some extra bonus challenges. Upload a picture to Google Classroom of Bruce's adventure rescuing his friends. Email me to tell me what worked or what didn't work. Use a stopwatch to time how long it takes Bruce to rescue his friends. Or create a graph of either how far or how fast Bruce traveled if you tried adjusting the angle of the zip line or the weight of the vehicle. Now with today's challenge, you may need persistence. In STEM, the goal isn't to make something perfect the first time around. You may need to experiment and get creative with solutions as you're faced with new problems. My zip line worked only after I changed the rope, originally it was too rough, changed the location, the trees were too far apart, changed the angle, it needed to be steeper, changed the vehicle from a plastic tote to a lightweight paper vehicle, changed the trolley, I ended up using a folded paper clip, and made the rope tighter. In the end, Bruce was successful with his mission, and then all three of them went for a ride together. Good luck, and I can't wait to see what pictures you post.